Scallops are one of my favorite proteins to work with. They're super duper delicious all on their own and they don't need much. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a really awesome seared scallop dish made with a beautiful pea puree and we're gonna dress the plate up really, really pretty. You're gonna think this came out of a five-star restaurant, but you just made it in your house in 15 minutes. For the full ingredient list, check the description box below. Everything's down there, but enough talking, let's get cooking. Prepping scallops is pretty easy. The only thing you really have to do is peel off this little muscle on the outside of the scallop. Some of them are attached, sometimes they're not, but it's a good idea to pull these off because they're much tougher than the scallop, but we're not gonna throw them out. We're gonna save them. And now we're gonna pat them dry with a paper towel. You know, getting a good sear on these is about getting these nice and dry. So once we've patted them nice and dry and they're sitting on the paper towel, we're gonna send them in the fridge and let them dry out in there. We also don't have a lot of prep for this recipe at all, so we're just gonna chop up this shallot really finely. We're also gonna pull the leaves off of some parsley, and then we're gonna chop this really nice and fine with a nice rocker chopper action. And we'll keep running the knife through until this is nice and fine. And you can see I'm using way too much parsley than I need for this recipe because I just like keeping chopped parsley in the fridge. And now we're going to zest some of these lemons. There's a lot of ways to zest a lemon. This is the way to get the maximum lemon zest without pulling any of the white off. So we're going to go upside down on our microplane and we're going to clean up the outside of that lemon and we're going to set this lemon zest aside. And this wouldn't be a Chef Ange recipe without way too much garlic. So normally a recipe for like this would call for like two or three cloves of garlic. Here we probably got like five or seven and we're going to chop that up nice and fine and set that aside too. Now let's make a little gremolata with some of these ingredients. So we'll take those chopped shallots, the lemon zest, and a big pinch of that parsley. And this is really simple. We're just going to mix this all together. All three of these ingredients have contrasting colors, contrasting flavors, and it's going to be a really nice garnish to throw on top of these scallops. So we're going to put this in a container and we're going to set this aside in the fridge. Now let's start making our pea puree. So I'm gonna heat this pan over to medium heat. I'm gonna put a little oil in there and in goes some pancetta. We're gonna crisp the pancetta up in this pan. And if you don't have pancetta or can't find it, you can always use bacon, that would work too. And probably even sausage as well, but uh, we do have the pancetta, so we're gonna use it. And once that gets nice and crispy, we're gonna use a slotted spoon and we're gonna pull the pancetta out of the pan and transfer it over to a bowl lined with some paper towel. We're gonna make sure that we're trying to get all the pancetta out, but leave whatever fat that was rendered inside the pan. And we're still over that medium heat, so we're gonna throw in the rest of the shallots that didn't go in the gremolata. We're gonna let those soften up a bit, and then we're gonna add our garlic, move that around the pan till it becomes nice and fragrant, just a minute or two. And now, shout out to Foxhorn for making a cheap but drinkable wine with a screw top. I love using this for cooking. And now we're going to clean up the bottom of the pan while the alcohol from the wine evaporates and in go our frozen peas. We're also going to splash in some low sodium chicken broth. Not only is it going to add flavor, it's going to add nice liquid for the peas to steam with. And while no one's looking, we're going to throw in some butter with my left hand. Sneak that right in there. Melt that. No one will even know it's in there. And now we're gonna put some flavor enhancer in there. This is a garlic bouillon paste from Better Than Bouillon. I love all their stuff. This is a great product. And once those have lightly cooked and the peas have just defrosted, you can see that they're still super bright green. We're gonna throw these inside of a blender. And then we're gonna turn this into a really nice smooth puree. There should be enough liquid coming from the pan, but if it seems a little too dry, you could always just splash in a little bit more chicken stock. Once that is nice and smooth, we're gonna transfer that over to a container. And we're not gonna put this one in the fridge because this is gonna go right in our plate, so we don't wanna get it cold. We're just gonna set this aside. And now let's get to our scallops. So we pulled out a couple of scallops. We're gonna season them with salt and pepper just on one side. I also have those little mussels that I pulled off that I also seasoned with the salt and the pepper. 
So now that this pan is screaming hot, I added some oil and we're gonna go right around the outside of the pan because I have a gas burner underneath and it puts heat into a circle. So the outside of the pan is actually a little hotter than the inside of the pan. So the premier spot for these scallops is right on the outside, that's the hot spot. But in the center of the pan, we're gonna throw in just a little bit of oil and we're gonna throw those seasoned mussels that we pulled off the outside of the scallops and we're gonna sear these up too. Remember, no flavors left behind and I'm not throwing any food out. So after about 45 seconds, maybe a minute, these have got a really nice sear on them. We're gonna flip this over and this pan is going hard over a high heat. We're gonna flip each one of these over. We got beautiful color on all of them. We're also gonna try to flip some of these mussels. And these are gonna cook super duper fast. So once they're done, we're gonna pull those out. And we're gonna set those aside on our plate. Those are gonna cook a little faster than the scallops, but right behind those, we're gonna pull those scallops out. We don't wanna overcook them. And you can see we got this beautiful sear, both sides, both sides brown. And now let's plate this dish. So a little bit of that pea puree on the bottom. We're gonna spread it out nice. We're gonna try to plate it really pretty. So we only need three scallops. If you wanna eat more, you can always go back for seconds. We're gonna sprinkle that gremolata right on top. And we're gonna bring this dish home with a sprinkle of that crispy pancetta. Right there. And uh, how amazing does this plate look? And just like that, this dish is done. It looks really, really pretty. I'm really excited to try it. But the one thing I wanted to show you first was the, those little mussels that we pulled off on the outside. Like this is a little snack I like to chew on like right before we eat dinner, just so I can taste it. You know, they're not, uh, they're not super uh, tender like the scallops are. They're a little chewy, but they taste like scallops and I don't like to throw anything out. So, you know, I like frying up these like little mussels on the side. And then while you're waiting for dinner to start snacking on these are so good, so. Mm, are so good. The scallops, they're a little chewy. So that's why you take them off, so, just so there's not that big difference in texture, but mm, so good. All right, let's cut into one of these. So the scallop is super tender in the middle. We got this beautiful sear on the outside. Let's get a little bit of everything on one bite. So get a bunch of those pancetta, the pea puree. Mm, this is gonna be a fantastic bite, ready? Mm. Mm. So many things work together to make this dish amazing. The, the freshness and the smoothness of the peas, the, the beautiful like meaty yet tender texture of the scallop and that like crispy, salty, umami pancetta. Oh my God, this is so good. Mm. And this is a relatively quick thing to eat. You know, scallops cook so fast, so on a, on a busy weeknight, if you're trying to make a fresh dinner, this is definitely up there as an easy recipe. Mm. While I'm finishing this up, uh, check out my baked cod recipe if you're into easy, fast seafood, and also my lemon pepper salmon bites. I'll see you there.